2018. Back in 2017, which is technically still today because it's December 31st when I'm recording this, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. I spent the majority of the year building out my home studio or my dream home studio, and as a result, I ended up with a ton of equipment um, and a lot of a lot of exposure to home recording techniques that you wouldn't typically get unless you kind of jump to that next level. So because of all that and the years of recording and just being in the music scene, uh, I'm starting this web series to go through demonstrations, reviews, and most importantly, education on equipment in general that's out there that might be interesting to people that might be in the same boat as me. So we're starting with this guy right here, but let me step back a little bit to give you a little bit of context. Back in 2014, I went to NAMM in Anaheim, California, and saw my first eight-string. Actually, I don't even think that I knew the eight-strings existed at the time. It was an Ibanez. I don't remember the model, but it really got my gears turning on, you know, really what was possible. You know, fast forward a few years, kind of warmed up to the idea and started to look into the idea of a uh, an entry-level uh, version of an eight string just to kind of get my feet wet. So I looked at the Ibanez entry level. I looked at the Schecter and landed on the Dean 850X. This is a pretty interesting instrument here. It's got a 26 and a half inch scale neck, which is a little more comfortable for those of you or myself who is more comfortable with a shorter scale neck. Pickups are DMT design, I believe. They are interesting. Um, they do some sort of swell thing when you play lowered notes, kind of overpowers the higher notes. It's just a real muddy, boxy tone. Um, I definitely suggest getting them replaced. As a matter of fact, I am replacing them with DiMarzio deactivators. This is the DP820 and the 819 here. So before I go any further, this is a good point to bring up um, an issue that might be a deal breaker for some of you, depending on your comfort level. Um, I purchased this from musician's friend who I've always had a great relationship with. When I got it, the neck was at an odd angle, causing the strings to actually go down towards the, the bottom here, and there was a big gap. It also made it almost impossible to lower the action or intonate the guitar properly. And obviously, as a result, I had to get a hold of a musician's friend. I told them that something just wasn't right. They replaced it. And this one isn't perfect by any means, but it's a lot better, and it is definitely playable. The action is still a little high, and I'm a little wary to lower the action as a result of the experience from the last one. So we'll see with that. Aside from that, the guitar feels very solid, and the tuners hold their tune very well. Um, the volume knob is very smooth as well as the tone knob. The pots feel very nice. It's got a three-way switch and uh, it's got a pretty interesting little binding that you don't see on some of these lower uh, cost models. But other than that, it's a pretty, uh, pretty standard bolt-on neck guitar. Okay, with all that out of the way, let's take a listen to a track that I recorded. You're going to hear a full mix as well as an individual guitar that's going to be the raw signal, the uh, guitar with just through the amp, and then a guitar with all of the processing that was placed on it. So you can really hear how much had to happen to make this guitar sound the way it did in the mix.
So as you can see, it took a lot of processing to get this guitar to sound decent in a mix. Uh, but I think it's, you know, kind of getting in that general ballpark. Obviously, once we switch out to the pickups, that changes everything. Um, so I've got my own opinions on how it sounds, but I'm really interested in what you guys think. Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll do my best to talk through it with you guys and answer any questions that I can. Be on the lookout for the installation video for these pickups. So these DiMarzio deactivators, I'll be putting these in and recording the same song. Uh, so you'll hear this version with the stock pickups and then the same thing with those DiMarzios. So you can get an idea of what a guitar at this price point can really do once you, you, you rip its guts out and uh, give it some new life. That's all I have for you today. Have a great 2018 and thanks a lot. I'll see you soon.